Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard squadrons reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled. Which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? And then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk. Remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zerelda Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva, you can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Hello everyone again. Welcome back to the next episode of Star Wars Squadrons. I am Dak and we're just going to continue on with the single player here. And it looks like we are being introduced to the Rebel Squadron that we're playing as. So it actually takes place after the Battle of Endor. And we're flying with Vanguard Squadron. You can kind of see the hangar here. Definitely a lot different from the old days if any of you remember playing like X-Wing and stuff like that. It's really cool to see all that in full 3D. Ah, you arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. Pretty cool. So they're gonna show off the mission briefings. I wonder Everyone if it's gonna here. be like the original. Let's find out here. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them, then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, Regroup and return to the Temperance. 
Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. Okay, so as we saw there, the briefings are actually very much like the originals. It's just in full 3D, so they did an amazing job. I think they definitely outdid themselves so far in what I'm seeing. So it looks like we can talk to some of the pilots here. Let's talk to Grace. Hello. Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes. Unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE Fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. Sounds good, Grace. We will shoot up some TIE Fighters. Let's look around here. That is all very cool. They did a great job capturing the feel of the movies. Like you're really on a starship. Let's talk to Keo here. Oh hey, I'm Keo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. I think that's it for the pilot introductions. I'm assuming this just does the briefing again with the commander. Let's go to the hangar. Mr. Gunny. See what he wants. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. It's a cool looking alien. I haven't seen that before. Someone should comment and remind me what kind of alien species that is. I believe Frisk is a Trandoshan. That's pretty cool. Also, comment below, little quiz. Do you remember the name of the pilot that you fly as in the original X-Wing and the TIE Fighter standalone games? Let me know. Pilots are on deck. Prep for launch. Ah, nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? <laughs> Or that the Imperial Governor was going to show it off to Admiral Thrawn. That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Deathmark or not. Say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but 
no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh, go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. For sure, definitely a lot different than the originals as far as interacting with the pilots and everything. Definitely had to use your imagination in the originals, which was definitely fine, but it's cool to see what they've reimagined and redone to make it more immersive this time around. You're ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X-Wing ready for you here. A real beauty if you need... Sorry. That droid's giving me the eye. Little rust buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. We should run a pre-flight check on your X-Wing. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. That's all we can do, so let's just enter the X-Wing here. Ah, the X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good old rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. It's pretty cool. Shows the all the stats there. Then we can go and look at the loadout. Okay, so we have the primary weapon, obviously, we have four lasers, and then we actually have an auxiliary, the repair droid. Okay, so now I understand what the left auxiliary actually is. That's the droid itself, and then the right auxiliary is the missile. Countermeasures, I believe I set that key up. We have the hull, standard deflector, and standard engine. I'm assuming these are actually components that you can actually change out in the multiplayer. I don't know if we can do that in single player though. Very nice. What you looking for? Very nice. Oops. If so you can need I actually it, I got it. change anything here? Doesn't seem like I can change anything at this point. But let's launch into the mission and see what happens in the story. Power management systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Tin can, we got a pre flight check to do. Radar, working like a dream. Loadout data, looking good. Combat display, check. Primary weapons, charged up, ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost, good to go. Whole integrity. Never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Professional flying. Away we go. Stay close, Vanguard 5. You remember your mission parameters, Vanguard Squadron? Find the scouts, smash the jamming ships. And get back before the cantina closes. I think Commander James skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Otto. We'll be careful.
So I'm actually not using a VR device because I don't actually have one yet, but I do have the index ordered, but it is on back order. So I hope to play this game someday with the VR device. Let's follow Gunny here. Once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. Our jump point's just ahead. Hopefully we get to fly some of the other fighters, like that Y-Wing there. Sounds like a trap. I hope the scouts are all right. Me too, Grace. Me too. What is that in front of us there? It's like a destroyed ship. Let's slow it down. Oh, heck, our scouts didn't make it. Empire must have found them first. If that's the case, where is the Empire? Vanguard 5, scan the debris. Guess they didn't eject. Target the wreck and close in. We can't let our allies die in vain. it's a feature that they've added in these other missions past the prologue but in the original you could actually eject and you had a chance to either be rescued by the rebels or if you were in enemy territory you were captured and then it was just game over at that point Nice. 
got them. We need to take out that Gazanti cruiser as well. Let's take out that raider. Six fighters and Frisk, two small frigate ships. ships. Sure thing, Grace. I'll soften them up. You two finish them off. Missile evasion. You can invade a missile by making several sharp turns in different directions. Divert power to engines and set your throttle at half speed to make this easier. game is definitely very bit difficult, but I'm hoping to get a little better here. The Evading missiles is a lot different than the original, but maybe I can actually just shoot them down. I need to take out these fighters first. So I am getting hammered. You picked up a tile. Man, I need you to shoot him down for me, dude. We are outnumbered. Nice one. I'm taking fire. Let's see if we can 
gonna get that one off for six. but I don't know if the AI has difficulty shooting stuff down on its own. At least that time she did shoot a missile. So. There we go. So let's go rescue him. I'm curious how difficult this game must be on the Increased difficulty. Probably gonna take me a while to get used to actually getting good at this game. So it seems like the AI can definitely take like down stuff on its own. There's something else on the radar, though. Requesting a resupply. When needed, you can request a supply droid from your support starfighter. A supply droid will temporarily attach to your ship, repairing your hull and restocking your armaments. Hold 1-8 to request a supply droid to repair and rearm your ship. Follow me. 
I'm on your wing. Trying to figure out how to put all my shields to the front. Here I am. They won't bother you again. Good enough for me. Oh boy. Countermeasures can quickly shake missile off your tail, but they are limited in number, so use them sparingly. To deploy countermeasures, keep an eye on the the missile incoming meter and press the one or two key for impact. See that? <laughs> Need to recharge my shields here. You're safe. Hey, you did your job. Right here and ready to go. Press her on key there. They have a lock. Let's destroy these ships first. Oh, that was close. My dumb fire worked that time though. like a real pro here, ain't I? Cruiser and the jammer. Enemy is persistent. Not for sure that would get him. Oh. That's the last of their jammers. New Republic communication should be restored. Commander James, if you read me, we need reinforcements on my position. You're loud and clear, Gunny. Help is on the way. I don't know if I can take out the components on that ship, like the lasers. That would be interesting if I can. Maybe once the shields are down. Oh yeah, you can. Nice. I'm 
Might as well keep my shields up at this point. Oh, I think they're trying to get a missile on me. Definitely hoping that now that this game is a reality that maybe they will do like a X-Wing 2 or TIE Fighter 2 or even both that are just completely focused on single player. Welcome home, Vanguard. No time for celebration, I'm afraid. We have a visitor and a mission. I think you'll be interested. So you actually do get medals too. That's also from the original. That's very cool. So I got a chromium. Uh, I'm assuming you can get other different kind of medals here because I didn't do so hot there. That's pretty cool for different playthroughs to see how much better you can do. So mission complete. Those, though losing the scouts is a blow to Vanguard Squadron. You have pushed back an Imperial incursion and a restored communications across the Bormia sector. Vanguard Squadron's next mission lies ahead. But we will stop there for this episode. Thank you again definitely for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And if you want to like and comment on the video, on the game itself, and what you are looking forward to the most from this game. Anyways, bye for now, and we'll see you in the next episode.